Hey there everybody. On this episode of Gideon's Tactical, I just want to take a brief moment as we look back and reflect on September 11th, 2001. You know, 12 years since that date, uh, I can remember the day that we got that news. I was coming back from a camping trip. I was 15 years old and I can't, we were coming back from a camping trip uh, in North Dakota. And as we were driving back, we heard the news that uh, planes had crashed into the World Trade Center and then the Pentagon and Pennsylvania. And uh, really the world for me, you know, 12 years ago changed. And I know for many, mil you know, millions of Americans, uh, our worlds have changed since then, 12 years later, uh, as we look back, not only the families that lost loved ones on that particular day, but the, the hundreds of, uh, and thousands of uh, military men and women who have given their lives and service over in the Middle East and around the world since then. Uh, and I know that we'll continue to do so for years and years to come. Uh, really made me just want, uh, I'm just reflecting, I'm just, I'm wondering, you know, what, what has changed in my life since then? You know, the, a different sense of, um, understanding about how the world works, uh, a different view of how the world sees us as Americans and views our freedom uh, that has, we've been blessed by God to receive and be born Americans. Uh, you know, I've have, had the privilege to go around the world. I've been to the Middle East. I've been to uh, Israel and Egypt both. And to uh, just see just the world and to realize how <laughs> amazingly blessed we are uh, to live in this country uh, here in the United States of America to have the freedoms that we do um, and that we need to come back to a point where uh, we as a people, not we as a political party, not we as uh, you know a particular race or creed, but we, the people of the United States of America, need to uh, grasp hold of the blessing that we have uh, and and the 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 God-given right as American citizens um, to freedom and that the rest of the world doesn't necessarily in, uh, get to enjoy those freedoms and it oftentimes hates us that we have those freedoms. And uh, I was looking for a quote to kind of sum up uh, not only what was sacrificed on September 11th that day, the fr friends, family members who uh, died in the World Trade Center and the Pentagon on those flights uh, that crashed in Pennsylvania, you know, just all, all the things and then all the families after that um, that have suffered because of the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, losing loved ones, uh, you know, just different things like that. And I have this quote from Abraham Lincoln, and he's, this is during his Gettysburg Address, and I just wanted to read this to us just to kind of sum it up, because my words could never suffice. Abraham Lincoln said this, We here highly resolve that these dead shall have not died in vain, that this nation shall have a new birth of freedom. Amen. And that this government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Abraham Lincoln. And those words sum it up so well. That the lives that were given 12 years ago and throughout uh, the last 12 years, that they shall not be in vain. They didn't die in vain. And that this nation shall have a new birth of freedom. We must... Be, begin to realize this new birth of freedom that uh, that we have we've given a chance to rekindle that has died in many people uh, and in many uh, circles in this country, and that this government of the people, by the people, and most certainly for you and for me, the government works for us, shall not perish from the earth. I don't want this country to perish from the earth, and I don't think you, if you're watching this video, want it to either. So I challenge you. Um, if you know someone who has suffered, regardless if it's for the military, uh, a family member being lost, um, you know, an injury, uh, or a family member uh, was lost in September 11th on that day, 2001, to uh, not only encourage them and love on them, let them know that uh, God absolutely, hands down, loves them, but begin to ask yourself, how do you view not only this country, but your freedoms? And are you willing to rekindle and have a new birth of freedom? So with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical. Uh, embrace your freedom, live it, love it, because uh, we're not promised tomorrow, just like those people who went into work on September 11, 2001, probably didn't think that was going to be the last day of their lives. So stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.